qualifying round one, heat two, about to hit the water now, and it's going to be a fun one. We have our defending world and event champion here, Felipe Toledo, will be in red. Connor O'Leary in blue. He's currently number 11 in the ranks. Callum Robson, the Australian who has the only perfect 10 of the season so far, he's going to be the second surfer out there. And Cole Hauschman, one of our wild cards for this event, currently the highest rated North American surfer. Watching the press conference in regards to uh, what Kelly Slater, some of the comments he had, he felt like the Goofy Footers had an advantage here just because of the left and the way the left mm -hmm. is set up for forehand and also the backhand. And this has got one of the strongest backhands we've seen as of late, Cole Hauschman. Coming off of the biggest win of his career so far, the win at the GWM Sydney Surf Pro in Narrabeen. Lovely stall there on the backhand for the surfer from SoCal. Let's go down to Strider. How's the view, Strider? Cole just whipping it up into the bowl. Looks like a little off tempo coming out of the barrel. Can he regain? That's where, there it is, straight up into the lip. Buckets out the back. Big fella coming in at about 210 pounds. He's going to push some water. He's going to slam it again right there. Wow, that was a huge bucket out the back. Stalling, grabbing the wall. Let's see if he can snake through this thing. Come out. What's he got on the finish for us? Going for the big backside bust tail but goes down in transition nerves must be high for that young man first they, time out here they probably are starter thank you very much pete nerves are probably high but so is the amount of pressure too he's the highest rated north american surfer on the challenger series what's what's cool about cole is that uh, this is a first time championship tour experience mm -hmm. right and it's uh, out the surf ranch it's in front of everybody um and he did not disappoint. That was good, solid surfing right there. Yeah, there was a little, he felt like uh, in watching his warm ups, there was a little different effect in here. There's definitely feeling uh, the weight of that jersey. Uh, but he started to pick up his rhythm there in the back half of it. Inside barrel here was solid, you know, had the fall, unfortunately. I think he's going to have to improve mm -hmm. um, on this wave here. I mean, not going to be a, a huge score. But ultimately, I think now he's washed off those nerves. So that's a sub driver. Yeah round tail that he's riding out there. It's only the second time that he's ridden it. He rode it yesterday for the first time. And I can say, out of experience yesterday, when you get that 30 second countdown, it might be the greatest single moment that somebody's gonna hear in their life. And your heartbeat is just going yeah, in your mouth. it elevates, that is for sure. Here goes Robson, riding the new boards as well. Made the switch up to DHD. And DHD at the moment leading the Vizsla CT Shaper rankings. So Callum, a couple nice turns to start things off on this ride. Lovely snap right there up into the lip line. Or looks good. A lot of flow coming around this section. You can definitely see the onshore on the left. It gives it that crumble that you want. Lovely throw tail right there by Robson. The surfer from Lennox Head just going to work on this one. Got to be looking for a strong finish here though. Sets up for the barrel. Nice stall. And comes out through the doggy door. But it's going to be a complete ride, Pete, for Callum on his opener. Yeah, nice solid start there for Callum. Port does look good. Good acceleration as he's going through there. I mean, he's been riding all sorts of different equipment uh, throughout the season, really. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he's trying to find that magic. And uh, right now it looks like that board is pretty darn good under his feet. Name's Connor O'Leary. He's rocking the mullet yet again, Pete. Looks good on him. But you know what looks even better is his backhand surfing. Strong offshore wind here on the right. Deep bottom turn as always. There's a reason why he's considered to have one of the best backhand turns on the entire championship tour. Great stall right there, the first opening section for the barrel. Still in there and disappears. Comes out. Nice redirect. Lovely use of the rails here by O'Leary. That board looks fantastic right now. Lovely pace, the timing on point, Pete. He just seems to have this wave locked down on the right. As he goes straight up into the lip, a lot of water to the sky. You got to be thinking after the initial two scores, the 5, 8, 3, and the 6 with a long barrel. And a nice throw tail reverse to finish off right there by Connor O'Leary. Probably going to be looking at the best wave of the heat here. Solid, solid flow, speed, acceleration. Um, those are all the things you want to see. On the backhand, I will say that, you know, I would see a little more, more healthy mix mm -hmm. in the angles, maybe. There was just so much power, especially in the beginning stages here. Just one, two, oh. three, and the third one was the hardest. Woo! As he uses the speed control, see how the leg, well, actually, you can't see it in that zone, but it moves up and back. It's a little handbrake. 
Actually, leg break. <laughs> As we watch the, the now the midsection here, straight up, like vertical. That's the that advantage the backhands have, is that you can go straight up in it and back to back with those combination major moves, keeping that single rail bottom turn not pumping. And then again, this is the tube speed control. Watch how he drops that butt into the wall and then the leg. It can move in and out towards the stringer and that's a little bit of a break. He's got the arm to hit, hold himself steady. And then the reverse. Again, show, showcasing the progression. We want to see that. Spins it around, no worries, pulls it off. So yeah, I would agree. This will be most likely uh, the best number of the heat so far. Well, we'll see him perform, no doubt about that. Coming off of the biggest win of his career at the GWM Sydney Surf Pro in Sydney, Australia. First left for him, setting things up, up into the lift, that's much better, has a lot of power in those legs. Low center of gravity as well. Lovely combination right there from Hausman. Once more, drifts the fins, throws the tail around easily. Great foam climbs, a lot of variation in these turns as well, Pete. It's not the same maneuver over and over again. Great layback snap from Haoshi as they know him. Loves tennis. Big football fan, LA Rams, of course. And now he's just going to stall in the barrel here. Might be looking for something big at the end. Going to settle for a layback. So a good start on both the right and the left. 5 8 3 on the right. You got to be thinking this might be a little bit better on the left feet. Yeah, and he got the completion. He's Dan. He was one of the standouts on the left for sure. You know, again, a lot of maneuvers strung together with great flow. Bottom turn into maneuver. Bottom turn into maneuver. He's getting some acceleration out into the front. And again, he's each move getting stronger and stronger, a little more risk involved with each turn. Straight I really up like into it. How he places his turns, too. The fin drift across the top. Again, just the risk involved, you know, and those are the sections that you're going to get with some lip, and you're doing the maneuver in the lip. Just so fast, and he's making it look really easy as he's moving it down the line. First wave of the qualifying round for him. First wave of the day. Yep, that's true. His <laughs> no hair was dry right before he bowled out. Here he goes. Starts off really deep too, Pete. This is impressive. Comes around the section right there. He is the deepest. He'll do. Uh, he'll take off as soon as he can stand up. He's already doing it. So he's doing four turns before this barrel section. Strider, how's this barrel look? Incredible. The transition, the amount of turns, the flow, everything he had going into this section just set him up for a beautiful just drive through the ball. Watch his transition in the lip though. He is just moving quicker. That board's been slicing through the water like nothing we've seen. Like that board is just on blade right now. I mean, watch these turns. He's just hacking through the lip and it's just impressive to watch the torque he's got. Slows himself down, grabs the wall, hits the gas pedal. Coming out, here we go. Big alley-oop, sticks it, and then straight back up into the lip for another turn. Blowing the tail out. Come on. That's Easy. the next level. That's what we've been waiting for. Felipe Toledo has entered the arena. Yes, you're right, Strider. Easy peasy. That was incredible. As good as it gets, Pete, on the right-hander here from Felipe. Look at the slices outside, right? I mean, and then just the transition, the little kick stall into the barrel. I would say that he would love to get deeper uh, if you're going to start nitpicking, you uh -huh. know? But then again, just straight back into the lip and each time getting stronger and stronger as he goes down the line. These last two turns before this end section, just so crisp and so on edge. Beautiful work there. And then right back into it again, the two best turns of this wave happening back to back. Combination of major moves and then straight into it. Oh, why not? We'll just do a little mini alley-oop here. <laughs> And just so clean is the landing all the way around. Just buttered the landing right on the lip. No worries. And there's the number. Yeah, best number of the day. No doubt about it. An 8.83 for four, Felipe Toledo. Four, there's a reason why three, he's the defending world champion. Two, he's the defending event five, champion four. here. You have the best canvas in the world. Go ahead and use it. How's this shot right here, too, from the drone angle? It just goes to show you how lovely it is here at the Surf Ranch. O'Leary up and riding. This is his first left. Casual to start things off. Three wraps in a row where he's just setting up the rest of the wave, it seems. Strong snap right there. Into the lip once more. Nice pacing. Nothing super explosive so far. Expecting something much bigger from him in the second half of this wave. That's more like it. Brings it all the way around. Into the lip line, drifts the fins, strong carve for O'Leary. 
The kid from Cronulla just destroying this wave. Into the pit. And he'll make it out cleanly. So it's going to be a finish for O'Leary as well. It does go down at the end with the attempt of the air, but that just would have been the cherry on top of the cake, Pete. So it's going to be his second ride, his first on the way. The last place you would have thought of, but maybe one of the most beautiful places you're ever going to be to in your life. This is Callum Robson up and riding. Dropped a six-point ride on his opening left. First right for him. Great snap right there. Surfer from Lennox Head. Youngster, he's riding the DHD boards now. DHD leading the Vizsla CT Shaper rankings as well. So quarterfinal finisher better will increase his lead as Robson gets hung up right there. The strong offshore yeah. wind, you can notice it on the right feet. Well, and I think one thing, too, is that he was getting some turns done, and you anticipate the barrel coming up soon, and it didn't look like it was there, and all of a sudden, it appeared. It, timing of the barrel will change a little bit in that performance section of the wave, and right there, he just had it see go extra steep as he went for the maneuver, right? So it gets a little steep right here, and he hits it, and he went more vertical, trying to get a little more out of the maneuver, mm -hmm. and it makes you late, and then once you're behind it, it is nearly impossible to get back around. It is crowded this morning. People were lining up at 6.30 to get into the surf ranch. Here's Felipe on the left now. I love that cruisy start. You know, he just sets it up and builds momentum through the wave. It's a performance, right? A 40-second performance. And the artist just painting the canvas right here as well as he can. A lot of spray on those turns right there on the backhand. It's not easy to do to get the spray up and into the skies here on the backhand. Especially with the amount of speed that he's carrying too. Going down the line so fast. He's just flying on this wave so far. How's that glide? Spectacular. I mean, he is as smooth as silk right now. Oh. Barrel section right here. Times it well. And great positioning from Toledo. He's going to kick out, trying an air. 8.83 on the right. Going to have a decent backup here on the left hand. I would say so. And, you know, you think about the lefts that have been surfed already. He's going to be right up there. And a uh, pretty comfortable early lead for his two, first two waves. As he can, just uh, you watch the acceleration that he carries. It's almost like when he does his turns, he goes up on his tall toes and the balls of his feet. And that's risky. And that's why he's putting it up there. But then he comes out with all the speed and extra acceleration. So he's always giving himself time out on the face. So he's never feeling like he's rushed. And again, you think about single rail, watch. Bottom turn, snap, he'll come down again, and you don't see a whole lot of pumping action out of Felipe's boards. And that's why there's a point of difference. It's really hard. There's that hula hoop bottom turn. You see a lot of double bottom turns here, but not from Felipe. Again, the tube riding stance gets very compressed, gets super small, and that's going to allow him to keep himself not touching the walls to slow him down too much. And he's just got great speed control, just the unforced air here, unfortunately, with uh, Going for the air, didn't quite get the pop that he would have liked to get the elevator above the lip there. Dropping a 5.83 would be essential here on this right hander for Cole Hausman. Well, he's in third, right? So at this point, you want to move yourself into that top two picture because you have all these other surfers that are going to be coming, coming up behind you. And he's going to be up and riding here, casually paddling into this one, looking for a big performance here from the surfer from San Clemente. Oh. Great timing. Precise surfing key now in the barrel section here. Great stall. Maybe not as deep as he'd like to be. Still, though, out up in the open face. That was a dynamic turn right there. The down car, not easy to do on the right here on the back end. Once again into the lip. Straight up and vertical. A lot of spray on that maneuver right there. He's got to look for the variation right here, though. And a strong finish would do him well to try to better that 5-8-3. In the pit again. Comes out. Looking for the rotation. And goes for the throw tail reverse. He'll pull it. Burn. Feel the burn. Those legs just on fire. The bulge in that water will make the barrel come in different timing. And this one here was a shorter barrel, right? He saw that it wasn't quite as deep yet. He got a little cover, but... Came out pretty quick and just went right back to maneuvers. And that's exactly what you need to do. You don't want to waste any time there. Little teeny bobble right there, but kept it together. And just so much water flying off the rail there from Cole. Big moment here. Championship tour coming off of a win on the Challenger Series. Got nice and deep on the inside here, which is good. Again, you see them using their thigh and their butt to use the brake to 
half speed control. And then here, the little tail whip. See that back foot pulls up above the pad to rotate out of it. Use the widest part of the board there. Nine, nine threes, I'll, I'll be happy with. I don't know if we need to see a 10. <laughs> so it, in your eyes, there's some no people might disagree with place for, for, for perfection here at the surface. Uh, yeah, no, you got to keep, uh, okay. you got to keep, you can always better. elevate it. Yeah. Okay. I like it. We should probably get you in the judges booth one no. day. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> here goes Callum Robson. He's looking to better a six point ride on a second left. And this is an imperative performance from him here. He's in fourth. 8.67, he total only a bit deep on that one. Nearly loses it. Strong turn there for Callum, but needs a spectacular finish here to this wave, and he'll just get caught behind it. So we've talked about the, the lack of experience by some people out here. Callum's first time competing at the surf ranch. It's noticeable for some. Yeah, it's a pressure. And also, you're thinking as you're riding through this wave, you realize that there's like, oh, wow, I got caught behind here. I had to chase it a little bit. And so all of a sudden, you're like, oh, no, I need to make up for it. Right? And then that adds more pressure to it. And uh, that's unfortunate because that six is going to stick for his uh, left, unfortunately, here, because the fall definitely going to cost him. A couple unforced errors here by Callum Robson. He's going to keep the six point ride on his opening left, a 2.43. Connor O'Leary. Waiting for his second right in the water at the moment. He is in second place in qualifying round heat number two. Felipe with the lead. Is that going to drop a 6.9 on his second left as Toledo? But O'Leary, though, 7.33 on his opening right. Strongest score out of his first two rides. You know what that does? It allows us to see him go big. It's exactly what we want to see. Well, the strategy being, you know, it's all about uh, getting that solid number and then you can get cut <laughs> loose. <laughs> Electric turn right there by O'Leary. Straight into the barrel. Great positioning. Comes out cleanly. Strider, how was that incredible turn? Yeah, you know what? The tail release, the pressure valve is off, he said, as he came out into this thing. And he said, starting out with a huge score like that lets him do surfing like we just saw. I mean, these vertical slams, straight up into the corner like that. Ooh. There's some beautiful timing right there. Coming into this inside section, he's gonna hold the wall, grab the rail, lean forward, see if he can come through this, and then he's gonna execute the inside section. Big blow tail, unfortunately coming unstuck right there. Wow, that was some incredibly sharp surfing. Strider, from your perspective from the ski, is that the largest amount of water that we've seen thrown out from a single turn so far today? Precision timing, it just explodes. Unbelievably so. Beautiful work, Connor O'Leary. Thank you, Strider. Pete, one of the best rides we've seen on the right so far. Yeah, it was good. It really was, especially the outside high-risk move with the Reese and the tail. I mean, the only thing he, he even just punched his board there for a little slight bit was the fact that he wasn't able to complete the final move. Again, really nice entry into the barrel here because he slowed way up. And I uh, got deep for a moment came out pretty quickly and he just wanted to solidify the score definitely would have improved most likely had he pulled this move but it still may I mean again the mistake at the very end doesn't mean that you're not going to get a big number lost your son John in Huntington Beach for the Jacks Pro yep no I know it was a whole one foot for that event <laughs> if, uh, the two biggest and tallest guys <laughs> made it to the final it was quite funny how that worked out but in the end I think the the two people that deserved to make the final definitely did nice. Oshman incredible snap right there and again, he did, even though he's going and getting loose like that, he's able to stay out front. Woo! Throw tail reverse, pulls it with ease. And that was on the outside of 2P. Yeah, well, we hadn't seen that very often, and uh, we just saw it there in competition by a wild Man, card. He is just going to town on this wave right now. An 8.9 would put him up into the lead. Great variation, looking for the air. I can sense an alley-oop coming. And pulls it. <laughs> Come right out. He loves it. Uh, we love it. I'd have to say, that's left we've seen ridden all day long. Uh, I would agree. He did have to chase it slightly. I mean, again, trying to, you know, find a little bit of the flaw there, but no. Uh, and again, the outside maneuvers, too, before he goes into the air. That was where he created the space. The floater glides up over the top, gave him the extra speed to go for the reverse. Again, look at that. No grab, Ollie spins it, lands tail first, whips it around really quick. And that's what you have to do because you're straight back on that inside rail or else you're going to lose the wave. 
That was filthy right there. And then came into the inside, decided to skip the barrel peep, but went for the air. And again, the transition out of it so quick. Lands backwards, <laughs> spins right out of it. Gotta love that. Again, let's take a look here. Tight angle. Look, he's trying to time where that little pop is going to be. Gets it. Foot was actually dangling around over there on the pad, but came, put it right back down there. Wow. And the completion. This is going to be a, a big number and an improvement for Cole. And drops the highest score on the left for day one so far. An 8.43 for Cole Hausman. And that moves him up into second place. 15-point heat total. That's going to be it for him today. Yeah. In the end, though, high-risk maneuvers do get you the bigger scores. Yeah. Especially on the outside. Look at how deep he is with positioning. Yeah, I know. He's, uh, he's at the white flag, right? I mean, That's where you can basically catch the wave the first time. So he's doing, uh, you know, picking up speed before anyone else is even really standing up. That wave just barely broke, and he piled into it like it was just another wave. Great variation right there. Incredible car by Felipe. Gonna stall for the barrel. Easily on the forehand, one of the best barrel riders in the world, Pete. You can see it there with the positioning. Still in there. Comes out cleanly. Strider, how's this wave looking for you? Well, I'm really excited for this second half. I mean, obviously looking beautiful through the first, and let's see him go to work right here. We knew it was coming. There was the throw tail reverse. Blows it up into the lip, stalls. Beautiful timing right there. He's gonna pump through. And he's going to exit, which he got in the lip line for us. Oh, wow. come on. He's just getting warmed up. I love it. Every little bit of it. This is so fun to watch. As we're going to look at the Cup Noodles replay here from the ski camp, Pete, this might be one of the single best rides I've ever seen at the surf ranch. Yeah, that's Felipe for you. Uh, he's quite a showman. And that was all done. All those turns on the outside section. That was the floater to set up the barrel. And you can see the stall just literally wiggled it off his tail block. Gets in there nice and deep. And then the midsection here where he, again, throws that risk with the tail throw. So difficult to do. Carries that speed out into it. The big carve whip back with the board coming all the way back into the pit. Again, very difficult to do to keep yourself out front. And then that, the quick pop to spin. I could say that he could probably get a little higher on that at some point during this event. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see more, so I'll ask. <laughs> but then again, just the, that wow. was beautiful. That was so quick. So easy. Here he goes. And there's some room there. You know, the 6.43 is, is his number. And not a ton of pressure here. So let's see what he can do. No, and especially knowing that Robson only has a six-point ride as his best. Connor just flowing through the motion so far. Lovely skiing over right there. And this really shows you how fast the wave is going down the line. Got a variation there. He, he's needing something stronger, it seems, though, if he's looking to better that mid-six that he has. Carve into the layback. That's much better. That was a nice combo there, for sure. Needing a strong finish, though, into the barrel. Great positioning. He'll come out cleanly. And goes for the throw to reverse. Yeah. That helps. So O'Leary dropping a decent score right here, Peter. And with him, uh, you know, he pulled out of that end barrel early to give him that time and that space to get that air reverse done, which he did. It's Amazon definitely could use an acai bowl myself right now, Pete. It's warming up this morning here at Lemoore. Callum Robson's also warming up. Much better here on this right. Looking better at 2.67. That's easily gone now. Into the lip right there. And as soon as I say that, another mishap. And that's likely to be it for him in this one. That's his fourth ride, his second right. He's going to have to settle with the fourth place finish in the qualifying round. Uh, we'll see here on the replay some snaps. You know, it starts to get steep on that section and just that's it. Grabbing the nose. We've seen it. Saw it with Jack. So unfortunate for Callum. This fall right here is going to cost him really the event. And he was off to a great start on that wave, though. You mentioned a, a few waves ago that somebody was looking down the line when they weren't focusing on the turn that they were doing. Kind of seemed like that, right? So Strider, I believe the last two events that we've had here at the Surf Ranch, Felipe's been part of the winning combo. In 2020, we had the surf, uh, Rumble at the Ranch. He was paired up with Coco Ho, won that event, and obviously the defending champion in 2021. In 21, where do you think he won that event for you when he matched up against Gabe in the final? Well, I mean, he's just 
he, he completed his rides and Gabe did not, and that was where the difference was made. I mean, right now we're going to see Toledo and, and everything he's got. You see him almost slip out on the bottom turn right there, pushing so hard. So he's looking like he's testing the, the, the board, feeling the board, seeing how far he can push it and where he can put it. Wow, that was incredible. That lip line slam right there was all time. That spray went above the light post. Let's see what he's got on the inside as he winds through this thing. He's going to tag it again right here and set up for this corner. He's right about to the tube section, boys. Take it away. Thank you, Strider, as Felipe still working through to the inside. Going to stall for the barrel. So the showman puts on a show, P, but very smart for him to not do anything unnecessary and not get injured for tomorrow's event as well. Yeah, I was almost going to feel like there was a moment on the on the outside section that he missed a little bit mm -hmm. and it almost kind of felt like, oh, whoa, this isn't going to be the way that I'm going to improve on and then he started cruising a little bit. Put him off pace. Yeah, no, and that's why this wave is so radical. He's got 45 seconds to be able to do that, but one little hitch or mistake could put you behind and put you out of, out of timing for the rest of the wave. And so you have this thing in your head, what you want to do, but then all of a sudden something happens and you have to change it and then you're all sitting in between two lines. It's incredible to me how agile he is on both the right and the left. But most impressive, the way he just surfs in the pocket the whole time here on the left. Yeah, look at it. I mean, he's using just his toes uh, on that pad yeah. when, he's, when he's drifting across there. And so it's so risky when you lose contact with your board to be able to keep it there, right? And, and keep control of it. And all of a sudden, all of that power goes to your front foot and all of that pressure is on your front foot, but that's the control, you know, because you're releasing that back, fin back foot to get the drift. Uh, and so that's why it's so risky. A very well-balanced performance by Felipe Toledo in the opening heat for him. He'll be into the quarters tomorrow morning and looking just as sharp as ever. Looks good though, Peter. Got the oh, yeah. longer hair going. <laughs> you don't normally see that from Felipe <laughs> anymore. It's been a while since we've seen him grow out his hair. He looks happy though, and he looks very relaxed for some reason too. Well, he just won the heat. <laughs> <laughs> That'll relax That'll, you that's easily, true. right? <laughs> that's absolutely right. It seems like he's getting ready for a word. But meanwhile, just a strong performance yet again, throwing away a 6.9, an 8.77.